<sighs> Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. Whoa! Go! What a stupid man! I'm sorry! My father, stubborn as a mule. He knows not to go off without telling anyone. He should have taken me with him. A man like Drew ain't gonna ask his daughter for protection. Well, he should have taken you, then. I'm not gonna be around forever. And if you carry on cavorting about like you are, you won't be around for very much longer at all. I don't know. If I had a dollar for every stupid man I've met... We'll find him, miss. Don't you worry. Gee up! Are you all right, Miss McFarland? I worry about him more than I should, I know. That's because he raised you right. He's getting forgetful. And there's an anger in his eyes that was never there before. All the problems at the ranch have taken a toll on him. I swear he's aged ten years in the last twelve months. I'm sure things will take a turn for the better soon. I wish I shared your optimism. The world's changed. New Austin's changed. Who's that over there? Nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Come! Really? What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. Please stay close. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talked about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Oh my god! The barn's on fire! Come on! Yeah! Get a move on! Let's go! The doors are blocked! This we need to find another way in! Ones. We have to find another way to get in there! Put it on! It's getting worse! Somebody get their horses out! They're trapped in there! There ain't enough of us! My side was!
You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You... Well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well... My father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's buried up. <laughs>